show you how to make a meal in the stack cooker. So using all the pieces, we have the three quarters um, base and then the uh, one and three quarters casserole dish. And then this is the lid. We're just going to flip it upside down and use it to put food in also. So I'm going to have uh, mashed potatoes in the bottom, chicken cordon bleu roll-ups in the center, and a blueberry cobbler on the top. So I'll show you how all of that's done. So I have the um, mashed potatoes in the bottom. So now we're going to start with the next layer, which will be the uh, one and three quarters casserole. We'll just set that down in there and um, do the chicken roll-ups. Okay guys, so I have the chicken breast tenderloins out. It's um, just under two pounds, which is uh, 12 tenderloins. So that's about what you can fit in the stack cooker, so you don't want to get much bigger um, a package than that. And then I chunked up some Swiss cheese, and then I also have my slices of ham over here um, that are also cut up so they'll fit better in the tenderloins. And you go ahead and measure out your toothpicks so that when you um, roll it up, you will be able to have the toothpick handy to um, secure it. So I'll just do one and then do the rest and come back the next thing. So you'll just throw it all together, roll it up as best as you can, and then grab a toothpick and jab it through. And then set it on the outside. You'll try and squeeze them all in in a circle um, on the stack cooker. Okay, guys, so this is what um, I have now. I have the chicken roll-ups all along the outside. You'll make sure you want to put it on the outside since the microwaves only go um, two inches or one and a half to two inches all the way around from every angle so this way if you put it on the, on the outside you're guaranteed that they'll cook anything in the center might not be cooked all the way just going to uh, sprinkle those with breadcrumbs and then Paprika is really good for um, browning things in the microwave, so we're going to sprinkle some paprika across the top so that it also browns the chicken up nicely. Alright, I'm going to clean up a little bit and then we'll go on to the next round. Okay guys, for the last and final layer, we're going to make a blueberry cobbler. So to do that, we'll use a uh, Jiffy Cake Mix and some butter and then just um, cut it in either using a bowl and a fork or your Quick Chef or your Power Chef. I'm using my Power Chef today, so I'm just going to put a couple packs of butter in with it. off to the side. I'm gonna, let me just open a can of blueberries. You could use any fruit with this. Just dump the blueberries into the top. All right, once you have the blueberries dumped into the next layer, then you just dump the 
cake mix in, you want to make sure that it's kind of like um, graham crackers, that consistency to make sure the butter is nice and blended in there. And then you'll just sprinkle it across the top. So this is our stack cooker meal. It has mashed potatoes in the bottom, the chicken roll, um, cordon bleu rolls in the center, and the blueberry cobbler um, dump cake, I guess blueberry dump cake on the top. So we're just going to throw it in the microwave for 25 minutes and come back and check it. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Here is the final product. I have the blueberry dump cake in the top. And then my chicken, nice and cooked. Uh, let's see if I can pull one out for you. Got the ham and the cheese in there. The chicken is fully cooked. And then the mashed potatoes are on the bottom. So my family will be nice and happy with this. Thanks, see you next time.